And good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us for News 5 at 6 on your Friday. I'm Rob Quirk. Diane's off tonight. And first up at 6, more than two dozen people looking for a place to stay tonight after an early morning fire burned parts of a Colorado Springs apartment complex. Ten apartments, in fact, at the Quail Cove Apartments had to be evacuated. That's on the southeast side of the city near Cheyenne Mountain Boulevard and Quail Lake. News 5's Eleanor Nishian was there speaking to residents and with a closer look at the damage. The fire happened here at Quail Cove Apartments around 1 a.m. on Friday morning. Fire crews have spent hours here spraying the building with water. You can see icicles forming on the side of the building because of those cold temperatures. The windows have been smashed in. You can see the black walls that have been burned and the ceiling that's caved in. This is a place many people call home. Early Friday morning. I heard shouting, screaming, the word help got me out of bed. Carlos Cardona woke up to see. I opened the door and I saw smoke. The fire moved so fast, so quick. His family was still sleeping. So immediately I went to grab my son out of bed, woke up my mother-in-law, went to grab my wife, just get everyone out of there as soon as possible. Carlos says his eight-year-old son knew what to do. He goes to Mountain Song Community School. They have been doing fire drills. He knew what to do. He was ready. It's, it's amazing. They then waited safely in their car for the fire department to arrive. They were quick, but at the same time, it just felt like a long time. The fire department got the call for the fire at 1.17 a.m. Engine 4 arrived at 1.23 arrived to heavy fire uh, at this apartment building behind me here. Crews treated one person for a minor injury, but no one else was hurt. We do have about 30 people displaced along with several pets. You can see here firefighters saving a cat that was stuck in the building for hours. There are some items that are just irreplaceable. You know, some beloved, you know, my wife has one, my son has one. Uh, for me, it's my family, you know, and I was able to get them out of there. Carlos says Cruz did retrieve some belongings from his home. We know that people have those things that are so meaningful to them, but we want to make sure that people are getting out safe. The fire department says when you hear a smoke alarm, get out of the building as soon as possible and do not try to grab any items. People aren't replaceable, belongings aren't. It took Cruz about three hours to get the fire under control. As for the cause, that's still under investigation. The Red Cross is offering support to families. Carlos says the most important thing is that his family is okay and they have a place to stay. Reporting in Colorado Springs, Eleanor Sheehan, News 5.